The Pacific Salmon Foundation is starting a new study to understand the role of herring in the salmon food web. Herring are critical to salmon. Juvenile herring can be important food to juvenile salmon that first enter the marine system as they boost growth and survival. Juvenile and adult herring are also food for adult salmon. Presence of herring may buffer against the effects of seal predation on juvenile salmon. So if there's lots of herring around, seals may shift their attention away from juvenile salmon and instead focus on eating herring. If we can understand what drives long-term changes in herring abundance and distribution and how that impacts Strait of Georgia salmon, we can better inform salmon conservation and rehabilitation efforts. So we'll be employing several methods to study herring, including satellite-based approaches to detect spawning events, ROV and water quality sampling to assess spawn habitat quality, hydroacoustics and stereo camera surveys to estimate adult herring biomass, as well as net sampling and microtrolling to understand the interactions between salmon and herring. This work matters because we're attempting to fill in key knowledge gaps uh, about herring ecology and how it relates to salmon, which are in decline in the Strait of Georgia. And the work that the marine science team is conducting, I know can teach us a lot about how to best protect and support salmon in the face of climate change.